Hello and welcome to Python tutorial 11 on user defined functions. In Python, we can write our own functions. Functions are used to remove code repetition. We can define the function once and call it multiple times in code. A function may have parameters that provide additional information. The function may produce different results based on different parameter values. A function should have some documentation so that others can use it easily. Just as we can use the string methods or functions of the math module. Now let us look at the format of a function definition in Python. There is the def keyword followed by the function name followed by a list of parameters within parentheses, followed by colon. The block of code should have a doc string or documentation string, some other lines of code in the block of code and a return statement. The entire doc string, block of code and the return statement is called the function body. Now let us see a function example in Python. Now the math module does not have an average function. So let us say we decide to define our own average function in Python. So here we have the entire function and other than the comments we have the def keyword this is followed by the name of the function which is average and that is followed by two parameters a and b that is followed by colon and within the function body we have two statements sum is equal to a plus b and a print function now the sum variable adds up the two numbers and then the print statement just prints those two numbers and the prints the value of sum by 2 which is the average. Now since we have already defined the function we can call it as many number of times as we want. So for example here we can call the function with values of arguments as 1 and 2 then we can find out the average of 10 and 30 and we can find out the average of 100 and 500. So let us run this script and here we can see that it has produced the averages. Averages of 1 and 2 are given as 1.5. Average of 10 and 30 is given as 20 and average of 100 and 500 is given as 300. So basically the average function is written once but can be called any number of times. Now let us see a more detailed function example to convert kilos into pounds. So the logic will be start, get a value in kilos, call the function convert underscore weight and stop. Now let us see this in Python. I have already created this function and here we can see this is the entire function and first we have the def keyword followed by name of the function which is convert underscore weight and there is just one parameter which is kilos. Now we have given a default argument value of zero. For example, the user calls the functions convert weight but does not specify the kilos value. So it is going to be taken as zero. Next we have the doc string or the documentation string which provides documentation to the function. This is written in 
ट्रिपल डबल कोट्स सो हेयर इट इज कन्वर्ट किलोज वेट टू पाउंड वेट एंड देर इज अ वेरिएबल पाउंड इट इज टू पॉइंट टू जीरो फाइव टाइम्स किलोज एंड अ रिटर्न स्टेटमेंट जस्ट रिटर्न द पाउंड वैल्यू नाउ वी हैव डिफाइंड दिस फंक्शन वी कैन कॉल इट नाउ सो हेयर द फंक्शन हैज बीन कॉल्ड कन्वर्ट वेट एंड यू विल नोटिस दैट देर इज नो आर्ग्यूमेंट और एडिशनल इंफॉर्मेशन गिवन टू द फंक्शन so this will go back to the function and because kilos is not specified the value will be taken as zero so let us run this and here we can see the result is 0.0 because it multiplies 2.205 with zero and returns zero now let me comment this now since the function is already defined we can call it any number of times we can even call it within a loop so here we have a while loop the variable i is equal to 1 while i less than or equal to 5 there is a print statement and i is equal to i plus 1 this while loop is going to run 5 times and the values of i are going to be 1 2 3 4 and 5 and the print function has the call to convert weight and the argument that the print function gives is i so first it is going to call convert weight with an argument value of 1 then with a value of 2 then 3 4 and 5 now let us run this and here we can see it has printed 1 kilo is 2.205 pounds 2 kilo is 4.41 pounds and so on so if later on we want to change the conversion factor the conversion factor is right now 2.205 let us say at a later date we want to make it more accurate we want to make it 2.2046 something then we just have to make the change at just one place in the code and automatically the change will be reflected everywhere the function is called now we have the documentation so just as we can import the math module we can import this python script also import kilos pounds and here this is script is imported and just as we can call the math module function we can call this function also so let us say i want to print convert weight and here you can see it has given the name of the parameter kilos is equal to 0 and the documentation that we specified convert kilos weight to pounds weight so this is useful for the users of the function so let us call it with the value of 1 and it prints 2.205 so thank you for watching this tutorial and see you in the next tutorial